How's it going, Forex traders? Is yours truly, Dapolis? And I'm back with another bang. Now, guys, welcome to this video. As you guys know, I'm sure you guys can suspect what I'm about to talk about in this video. Well, if you guessed that it's Trader Talk, you're absolutely right. Guys, welcome to yet another amazing episode of Trader Talk. If you're just joining me for the first time, once again, my name is Dapo Willis. And Trader Talk is basically a segment of my YouTube channel whereby I come to show you guys behind the scenes as to what I am trading, behind the scenes to all the technical stuff that's going on in the market, but ultimately how you guys can make a lot of money. You guys know most YouTubers, they just come and tell you about Fibonacci and trend line and support and this strategy and no, no, no. on this segment of my youtube channel called trader talk i come to put everything together so that we can you know use those ideologies use those tools to, to do some technical analysis and ultimately extract some profit from the market now guys before i jump into my charts uh actually let me breathe a bit let me breathe guys we hit a hundred thousand youtube subscribers a hundred k that is a massive milestone because I remember when, obviously, we kicked off the channel. I remember the very first episode of Trader Talk, and I think we're currently on episode 47 now, episode 48, if I'm if I'm mistaken. And we've been able to grow this channel to all the way to 100,000 YouTube short subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. And for those of you guys who have been following the channel for the longest, you'll notice that I try as much as possible not to post a lifestyle stuff. So we've actually taken this channel from zero subscribers to 100K by strictly keeping it educational. Yes trading and educational stuff me coming on here week in week out and educating you guys and teaching you guys i'm not trying to sell you guys a false dream and i want to appreciate most of you guys who have been with us on the channel you know you've watched the videos and you're not necessarily moved by the fact that i don't really like to show off that much you're here for the knowledge you're here for the education and i want to say a big shout out to every single one of you because this is the only way you can actually take your forex trading journey to the next level if you're the kind of trader who is always you know moved and phased by all the glitz and glam of the lamborghinis and ferraris that most forex influencers post then you might not really go that far but if you're the kind of trader who is dedicated to to mastering their craft then you would go far for me personally when i came into the game and i don't blame most people who uh obviously drum everybody wants nice things at the end of the day that's the reason why we uh, want to trade forex everybody wants nice things but i remember obviously about two and a half years into my trading when my trading actually started to become a lot better before my trading actually started to become a lot better i remember it was you know, I was very, very focused on buying the Lamborghini and buying the Ferrari and buying this amazing thing. I was, anytime I go on Instagram, I'll see Forex influencers, you know, I'll be like, wow, I can't wait to have this. So I was more focused on, you get what I mean? I was more focused on the lifestyle than actually perfecting my craft on the chart. Now, my, my trading actually started to change once I said, you know what? This money is going to come anyways. It's going to come eventually. But the only way I can guarantee that this money is going to come is if I focus on the important stuff first, which is getting your technicals correctly, which is getting your technicals right. So once again, I want this, you know, a big round of applause to every single one of you who subscribed to the channel, who's been with us from the get-go. You know, all of you guys, especially the Forex Mastery students, shout out to the Forex Mastery students for purchasing the course. I know a lot of you guys who went ahead to purchase the course have actually made a lot of money. Guys, I see the testimonials, I see the redraws, I see the screenshots, and I want to say a big shout out to all the Forex Mastery students because you guys actually Actually, you know, it's um it's a situation whereby you, you listen to what I had to say, you believed in the, the, the strategy, you believed in the approach, and you actually invested in your education. Shout out to you if you're a Forex mastery student and you invested in your education, because guys, that is the only way to succeed in Forex. Education first, get your technicals right first, and then the Lamborghini is gonna come. Once again, for those of you who haven't grabbed the Forex Mastery program, the link is gonna be down in the description as always now if you've been obviously following me on social media as well you guys have noticed that once we hit 100k i promise to give away 10,000 us dollars so yeah, i have it right in front of me right about here over the last 
10 days, I've been giving out a lot of money. I gave out $4,000 in my first giveaway. We were left with $6,000. My other giveaway, I was able to give out give away $100 to 30 people. So that's another $3,000. So we're left with another three grand. Obviously, I got, I, got, I got bands in front of me right about here. Now, guys, this is a sign of appreciation. I usually don't come on this channel to show you guys cash and stuff like that. But this is a sign that I appreciate every single one of you, especially the Forex Mastery students. I appreciate every single one of you. And this is my way of saying thank you. So once again, if you haven't joined the, 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 the Forex Mastery trading, uh, trading community, ensure to grab the program. The link is going to be in the description because, guys, this is a community whereby we're focused on improving people's lives. We're not just here to show off Lamborghinis and show up all that kind of we want you to get because once you have your technicals right once you know how to trade the forex market properly the sky's the limit ten thousand dollars is not a lot of money look I'm, I'm literally giving it away i'm giving it away it's not a lot of money why because i know once i open my charts i can make times 10 times 20 times 50 of it back without any, without even stressing myself so once again get your technicals right and the best way to do it is the forex mastery program if you haven't grabbed it Ensure to do that. The link is going to be in the description as always. Once again, guys, welcome to yet another episode of Trader Talk. Enough of me blabbing, but for real, guys, for real. Thank you. 100K feels good. <laughs> 100K feels good. And um, I don't know what to say, but thank you. Thank you for every single one of you for listening, for joining, for subscribing. Again, the Forex Mastery program. Without you guys, all of this wouldn't be possible. I'm not going to lie to you. The channel has grown so significantly. The, the impact is crazy. I know I've been talking for seven minutes now, but I have to say thank you. I have to say welcome. And for those of you guys who are just joining us for the first time, I'm going to dedicate my absolute best to this channel to ensure that this channel keeps growing. Most of you guys know I've already created another channel just for lifestyle. But this channel is going to keep, you know, I'm going to keep dropping content and stuff like that. And obviously, if you want to take things to the next level, you want to make more money, you want to understand how my strategy works in depth. The link to the Forex Mastery program is always there. It will help you guys. So once again, guys, enough of my blabbing for real this time. Let's jump into the chats. I just wanted to say thank you. Let's go. All right, traders, let's get down to some serious, serious business, right? Let's get down to some serious business. Um, obviously, once again, thank you for the 100K. But now, how can we um, help people make 100,000 US dollars, right? So the channel has hit 100, 100K subscribers. I'm on a mission to now put in $100,000 in everybody's bank account. So let's look at some Forex charts, right? So what I have in front of me right here is AUDUSD. I have a lot to teach you guys today. Um, so much, so much to share with you guys. So much to teach you guys. Um, but before I jump into the charts and start saying anything, um, start teaching you guys, you guys know you have to do one thing. We've grown to 100,000 100, subscribers. You need to do yourself one favor and smash that subscribe button right now if you haven't already done so. As you can see, the community is growing and it is in your own benefit to join now before the community leaves you behind. As you can see, 100,000 subscribers is a testament to the fact that whatever it is I'm teaching on this channel actually works and people are actually making money. So I'm going to give you five seconds to smash the subscribe button right there. Smash in five, if not, I'm not going to continue, right? Smash in five, four, right there, three, two, 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 one, and let's go. All right, guys, so the first pair I want to break down is AUD USD. First of all, just by looking at this chart, I just want to use this opportunity to laugh at my haters. I remember when AUD USD was, um, when I was heavily short on AUD USD. I'm still short on AUD USD actually as we speak, but I was heavily short somewhere around here. And obviously, for every time we try to come down, the market will push back up. We try to come down just when we thought the market was ready to roll over, started to push all the way to the upside. My trades inside here got stopped out, although my trades here were still open. And everybody was like, yeah, 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 your top down analysis, blah, 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 blah. Guys, I keep telling you guys. And I want you guys to take a lesson from this. Just because the market isn't going in your favor at that time doesn't mean that it is not eventually going to do so. Sometimes the market saying this, sometimes the market is just not ready. You know what I did? If you can watch my previous videos, check Twitter, my entire social media, you will notice that I held on to my bias. 
I said provided that AUDUSD is still trading below this yellow bar, we are bearish. As long as the monthly time frame is still pointing downwards completely, we are bearish. And my overall target is, rather my first level target is going to be this green bar and overall target will be 0.600. This is a round number and AUD USD respects round numbers. As you can see, this is 0.700 about here somewhere around here 1.700 is here if i'm not mistaken you can see we we we, we rallied into 0.700 it resisted it and started pointing downwards AUD USD is very fond of moving from round number to round number it has been there since before the inception of me and you trading forex okay so with the that that understanding of price action and the AUD USD characteristics whereby it it loves round numbers who am i to deviate from that i saw it rallied into 0.700 we came back down in a bearish market so this is a collapse all the way downside this is a pullback this is a fibonacci play a big picture fibonacci play a b c d ah you guys just because the market was moving sideways anyways i can't really blame people because most people cannot stomach being keeping the same bias for an extended period of time but because i i i, I understand price action to the letter i can tell you for free what exactly the market is going to do just by looking at it and as you can see AEDUSD has finally decided you know what maybe it's time for me to start rolling over now if i come to a lower time frame i have my entries I re-entered this market somewhere around here. Once I saw what was happening, you can see we breached this level. But anytime we breached this yellow bar, we always came back below it. Breach it again, we came back back down below it. And then once I noticed that we obviously came and closed and tested it like so and started heading downwards, I jumped in a shot again. And then my first level target where I took out some of my position was actually here. So um, I think I have about... 17 lots open i was able to close out three lots so keep i think i have 14 point no no if 13.8 lots open wait hold on get a trader 13.75 lots open on this sell trade as we speak now this trade is going to recover my is going to help me recover all the losses I made inside it. To be honest, the losses were not that many. <laughs> um, just one trade that just didn't go according to plan. So this this has this has already helped me recover this. And obviously, as we continue to drop lower, I'm going to make a lot more money. And then obviously, coupled with the fact that I still have my trade that I've had since God knows how long since February, right? So looking at AUD USD, I see no reason why we shouldn't drop lower. Although at the moment this guy is proving to be difficult, but um, I see no reason why we shouldn't break all the way to the downside. I am obviously, you know, I have this very strong feeling that AUD USD is tired of this range and it's time for us to start dropping all the way to the downside. So that's AUD USD in a nutshell, guys. We are definitely going to bleed to 0 0.1920 if we breach this. You guys already know you heard it here first on Dapsy Radio. Next level target will be 0.600, which is a round number. Now, I'll be waiting for this level to be clearly broken, and then I'm going to be looking for pullbacks on a one hour time frame. Right now, we are currently testing previous support. I'm not going to ignore this region and start adding to my sell positions just yet. We need to clear because it is this madman that caused this market to jump back up. So, he's back here again. You have to be careful. <laughs> The guy is really can imagine just imagine everything was smooth about to start dropping out of nowhere just pinned at this level and look at this bullish momentum so we're back here again cost me money the last time so now i'm being extra careful so i've moved all my stop losses to break even and everything so i'm ready to go once we can clear here then we can start looking for more trading opportunities but at the moment we're too close to support for us to start buying or for us to start not buying for us to start looking for sell positions or for us to start even trading at all we need to clear this region about here so that's AUD USD in a nutshell clear this region and we're coming down you guys already heard it here first on Dapsy Radio. Remember when I told you AUDUSD was coming down? It is coming down now. You see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? Let's go over to the next pair that I have been studying very closely, which is the Euro Dollar. Now, you see the Euro Dollar? I'm just going to delete this. My, my bias is still the same. 
shouldn't delete this. Now you see the euro dollar. I was telling people, don't get don't get carried away with this. Like the market was looking like it wanted to start pushing. I told them, relax. We need to come into this yellow area, this green bar pre to preferably and form a proper base. I wasn't comfortable with this base. The market spiked up. All your favorite forex influencers told you to buy. Everybody was buying. What happened? It ended up being a fake out. The market came to this yellow region. I told you guys, wait for a proper base to form. Nobody listens to that Paul Willis because they're like, eh, he has too much money because he has too much money. So he's always telling us not to trade. I don't know that I'm trying to save you from stop. I'm trying to save you from your broker. But would they listen to me? They don't listen to me. They don't listen to me all. I said, okay, I have trade now. And then this one spikes up again. Bam. Another, this is what they call, this is, uh, this is, this is what they call it, a, a classic broker's fake out. Love it. Taking everybody's buy trade and then, because what, what tends to happen, I'll show you. What tends to happen is when people are buying here, let me show you what it looks like on a lower time frame. When people are buying here, their stop losses are here. So as you can see, the market you know, triggered everybody and then came. Imagine your stop loss being here. Hey, whoa, your stop loss was here. Oh, <laughs> I And then you just see the market coming down. Coming up. Coming up. Coming up. Coming up. Coming up. Maybe overnight you won't be able to sleep. Coming up. Coming up. Coming up. Coming up. <laughs> Forex is a dangerous spot. Very, very dangerous. You can If you're not careful, you'll kill you. You kill you. That's why me, I'm never, you see, if you haven't, see guys, if you haven't learned anything from me, learn this from Dapo Willis. I am never in a hurry to enter a trade. Never. Ah, me. <laughs> I'm never in a hurry. I will always look for all the reasons not to enter a trade. Once I've exhausted all my reasons as to why, once I've exhausted all my reasons as to why I shouldn't be in a trade, and then there's like, okay, that's, there's no other reason why I shouldn't be in this trade. Then I get into the trade. But I must first of all look for all the reasons why I shouldn't be in the trade first. And then once I'm like, okay, it's actually clear. It's actually clear. I'll be like, hmm, I'll tell, the, I'll tell my trade. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, so um, what do I think is going to happen to the euro? Obviously, we need to come from a proper base. About here, what's going to happen? Let me tell you what I feel is going to happen. We're going to play around here for a bit. And then I will then be interested in this market once we now come back above here and start looking to the upside. So for now, that is not looking likely. This is looking like the, 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 this is looking like the counter trend line as we speak. Excuse me, guys. So this is the first trend line that was broken. This is the first counter trend line that was broken. As you can see, we've had a breakout to the upside and then we have dropped all the way to the downside. So we're currently testing the outer part of this trend line. So it's a very simple equation. How do you trade this kind of market? It's simple. So just simply put a resistance bar above the previous fake out like so and say to yourself, once we come and close above here, we're good to go to the upside. So I like this. I like see. I like to trade after the fake outs. I like to trade. If this market is going to go up, this is exactly what's going to go. This is what's going to do. Now we also just cannot be blind and just be saying bullish, 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 bullish. Let's look at things from a grand standpoint. From a what a grand standpoint. So I'm going to look at the euro properly. I'm going to zoom out just to see what exactly is happening. So I see move up, move down, move up. I'm just trying to see. I've seen this pattern somewhere before. 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 Hold on, guys. X to A to B to C to D to E. Wow. It's not looking good for this bad boy, actually. In the heavy series. X to A to B to C to D to E. E wave always does the trick. Okay, so what's going to happen is this. Okay, the euro is actually looking heavy. Now, my bias has gone from 85% bullish to 60% bullish. And I'm going to explain to you why. I've seen a pattern like this form before, whereby we actually just bled all the way to the downside. 
you get what I mean? We just bled all the way to the downside and, you know, it wasn't... The market just broke all the way to the downside. Now, the only way I'm going to be bullish on the euro, right? Actually, it's gone from 60 to 50, so it's 50-50 now. The only way I'm going to be bullish on the euro is what I just explained to you needs to happen, okay? The euro dollar needs to bounce off of this trend line and start pointing to the upside. We need to come back above this region and clear this support region before we can start looking to the upside. Or else, if we clear this green bar and clear this trend line, ladies and gentlemen, the euro will drop to 1.05. It's as simple as that. I'm actually looking for, I'm optimistic for one more leg to the upside, but um, obviously I'm not the market. I can't really say exactly what's going to happen. So one thing about Forex and one thing you guys need to understand is you're not here to tell the market what 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 it should do. Market will tell you. So you have to use the, we are technical analysts. We have to use technical tools to analyze the various crumbs and pieces and evidence that price action has left behind i'll take that again as a technical analyst your responsibility your primary responsibility is to use your technical tools like higher highs and higher lows and trend line and blah, blah blah to analyze the evidence and the crumbs that price has left behind as it was moving so by looking at this i'm using my technical tools i'm using my head it is, I feel it is bullish for this reason. High, low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high. Technically, wave count-wise, we're still bullish. However, there's still a possibility that we can drop all the way to the downside if we break this trend line. If there's a breach of an upward trend line, the market becomes bearish. You can see how I'm using... So, it's a situation of... I don't want you guys to listen to what I'm trying to say. Open your mind, open your mind. Whichever direction the euro wants to go or head in, it will tell us. That's the summary of what I'm trying to say. If it wants to go up, it will come and breach this level with a bullish engulfing green candle, then we can start buying. If it wants to, wants to go for a massive sell-off, it will breach this level and breach the upward trend line. It will show us characteristics of a what a change in trend it will show us characteristics of a downtrend the market will always reveal itself you just need to be patient and wait to it wait for it to reveal itself properly before you can start trading the market so for now the euro we gotta wait let's go over to gbpusd gbpusd and the euro are very very similar very 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 similar but i prefer the gbpusd setup Excuse me, guys. So I don't like flimsy looking trend lines. I've been waiting since morning. Guys, you know that Burner Boy song? Lamborghini driver. Lamborghini did it to the rich million and the Louis V did it to the city. No go talk to me in public. Guys, if you don't know Burner Boy, if you're watching this from wherever it is you're watching in any part of the world, Burner Boy is hard, man. That nigga hard, bro. So, GBPUSD, what do I think is going to happen? Now, the same situation with the Euro. See, these guys are very dangerous pairs right now. So, what's happening is... <clears throat> we've gotten to a point whereby the market doesn't know if it wants to continue going higher or wants to drop now because the overall flow of all the majors is actually still bearish. If I come on the monthly time frame, the overall flow for the majors is actually still bearish. Let me just draw this trend line and see if we've poked into it just yet. Uh, okay, we haven't. So that's why I was saying in my last trade, I was like, maybe we have one more leg to the upside. Maybe we might have one more leg to the upside before we start dropping all the way to the downside, okay? So maybe we might just be able to shoot up one last time. You never can tell. Um, but I'm going to be watching this very, very carefully. So two things can happen for GBPUSD. You can see we're, we're hanging. We're hanging on this bar right here. If I see a bearish engulfing candle down here, I'm going to best believe we're selling all the way down to 1.2100. It's as simple as ABC. <laughs> it's as simple as ABC. This is why I don't like counter trend trades. It stresses me out. 
me trading up to the upside is a counter trend because I'm going against the overall flow flow which is pointing downwards, right? So this is a counter trend trade. So counter trends are always trickier than going with the flow. So because I'm going against the trend by trading this market, I have to I need to have what they call more uh, circuit breakers. So I need to have my rules of engagement will have to increase. My checklist for entry will have to increase, meaning that more things will need to occur before I start buying this pair. I will need to see more evidence. Brother boy, say no evidence. You need evidence. Where's your evidence? <laughs> Where's your evidence? So what is going to be my evidence in this case? I'm going to use a very, very broad counter trend line like so. Big one. Now, we will attempt to break this counter trend line without a doubt. But I'll need to see us come and clear 1.28 with a bullish engulfing 4-hour candle. And then I can start looking for potential ups upside movements, buy opportunities all the way up to the upside at 1.326. That's just the honest and gospel truth. Although we've come into demand. And also, remember when this pair was... Same thing with the euro. I told everybody, relax. When the pair pulled back, I said, allow it come and form a base in the yellow bar. Nobody listened. They started buying here. Look at what's happened. Guys, if you don't have the Forex Mastery program, go and get it. It will change your life. It will change how you look at the market. Don't kid yourself, bro. Don't kid yourself. Don't kid yourself. Link is in the description as always right there. So looking at GBPUSD, I've told you guys what is the rules of engagement for GBPUSD. We need to break above here. It's so simple and straightforward. I'm just going to use a green bar to represent my entry point, which is going to be here in the event that we want to indeed head higher. So this is going to be my entry point about here. Cha ching Once we get here, bullish engulfing close, I'm going to be looking for buy opportunities. So enough about the major. So I've gone over AUD USD, Euro USD, GBP USD, and let's go to SPX, which I'm currently looking at at the moment. SPX, bullish. If you are from, if you're a news blogger or you're a news personality from Bloomberg and you are from the US and you're watching this, remember that you heard it here first. A wizard, a market wizard called Dapper Willis is predicting that the S&P 500 is going to hit, is going to make new highs. The S&P 500 is going to what make new highs. If you're listening to this from BBC Finance, CNBC, Yahoo Finance, Bloomberg, Dapper Willis said it here first, the S&P 500, which represents the health of the U.S. stock market, is about to make new highs. New highs probably be at 5,424 basis points. Um, yeah, so why do I say so? So if you're watching this from any of the news outlets, these days I want to be doing analysis for news outlets. <laughs> Uh, we're doing analysis for news outlets. It's simple. Technically speaking, the market is bullish on an uptrend. We've had a high, low. This was the dip down during the lockdown. Don't want to say what happened during lockdown, but you know that bad thing that happened. Caused the market to sell off. And ever since then, we just went into a massive pump all the way to the upside. We got here. Exhaustion, as always. We must retrace back into the Willis zone. It's called the Willis zone. Bloomberg, if you're listening to this shit, it's called Willis zone. That poor Willis <laughs> into the Willis zone and then once we bounce off of Willis zone I mean once we bounce off of Willis zone to the upside in an upward trend an upward market the market is most likely going to make new highs um, even if we don't make new highs at, at this point we're both at least definitely going to come to 4.780 basis points um, so next level target for the S&P 500 is 4,780 4, basis points. If we can take that out, next level target will be 5,424 basis points. It's as simple as that. Now, as traders, how do we take advantage of this? It's so simple and straightforward. On the monthly time frame, as you can see, done my analysis. I already know where the market is going to next. Bullish. So monthly time frame says all the way to the upside. I'm then going to zoom in a bit. Um, there was a head and shoulder pattern, bullish head and shoulder pattern that formed um, inside the Willis zone, just confirming my bias. So I had the Willis zone here pushing up, head and shoulder, left shoulder, right shoulder, head. Don't worry, it's a monthly time frame, so you can't really see it properly. Let me just go down to a weekly so you see what I mean. Better. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. 
And obviously, you know, the characteristics of price action state that once we clear the neckline, we must come and rally to the same amount of pips in which we were in the range for. So if I just add this to the top, you can see clearly that that Paul Willis knows exactly what the hell he's talking about. Yes, he, yes, he, he get me. Simple. So if I delete this, that means I'm clear all the way to the, to the upside. I'm just going to adjust this for the sake of resistance levels. Don't just trade blindly. You have to also accommodate the resistance levels. The resistance levels. It's called cool, the resistance levels. Je ne pas je suis. Je, je, je. <laughs> Guys, the Forex Mastery Program is about to be released in French. Yes, because it seems like we have a lot of French speaking people. What am I looking for? I was looking for something. Yeah, Alright, cool. Sorry, guys. So, there you go. Um, about here. Sorry. Yeah. So, next level target is 4,787 uh, basis points. How do we take advantage of this bullish momentum to the upside? Simple and straightforward. This was the neckline that was broken. If I slap this trading view, behave yourself. Right about here, this is the neckline that was broken right about here. So we're currently facing upside momentum, upside momentum, upside. But at the moment, this market is looking like it wants to pull back to test something. Most definitely isn't going to be the outer trend line because this is too wide. So it'll most likely be the inner one, which is this one. All right. So then we come to the daily time frame. To see what exactly is happening. What are going? What are going? What are going? Because we're looking to the upside. What I'm going to do is actually remove this, and then I'm going to look for potential demand areas in this movement, which is about here. So I'll be looking for the S and P 500 to retrace into these levels about here. We might pull a bit deeper into here, but ideally the market needs to come here, maybe even break below and start trading above here. And then I'm going to start looking for buy opportunities on this, on this index. I'm definitely going to be trading this and I'll be holding it because if I do my Fibonacci from swing low to swing high, A, B, C, D to the upside. So we'll probably push into here and then potentially rally all the way to the upside. So I'm very bullish on the S&P 500. I just need us to pull back a bit more. And then I'm going to watch price action around here once I start to see a bullish and go. Because the truth is, I cannot exactly determine now. This is another thing you guys need to learn. See, I'm always teaching you guys free stuff. Free game. But yeah, they'll say this one and that one. Free game. Because I cannot determine the exact level in terms of support where this market is going to pull back into because there are various levels there's this one here excuse me there's one oh my god there's one there's two and then there's three now if you ever find yourself in this situation what you need to do is this you need to come and use your head and look in the middle and try and draw your line so that it touches most of the support areas okay which is somewhere around here so i'll ideally be waiting for us to come down in here and then you can now put another level somewhere about here so that reduces it from three to two now what would what usually tends to happen is this we'll probably come and spill into here for a bit play around here just in case we want to fulfill this technical level or maybe even come to fulfill this technical level but you know that this is your first level so ideally you want to see the market come and play around here and then start look, looking something like this so what now happens is in your brain this is the level but we just came and just breached it a bit and then obviously we're not trading above it and then it's time for us to start buying all the way to the upside so simple as straightforward one of these two levels are going to hold and then once i start to see bullish engulfing candles on the daily time frame it is time to go 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 all the way to the upside so ladies and gentlemen i think that's about it btc 
BTC is not looking like he's interested in moving anytime soon. Quiet. It's been quiet for the longest time. Gold is a no-go area. Gold is a no-go area. Go open your ears. Gold is a no-go area. US oil though, I like. I like me some oil. So I'm looking if we can breach this $81 a barrel, US oil, next level target. You headed here first at $110 a barrel. I'll be watching the US oil very closely. So on my watch list at the moment, top of my watch list. AUD USD, Euro USD, GBP USD, SPX, and oil. No BTC, no gold. Let me see if maybe some one or two JPY pairs. GBP, JPY is gone. 1930, next. Gone. Euro JPY, same thing. Gone. JPY pairs are gone. If you're a JPY trader, this is the best time. Just be looking for buy opportunities. Simple. Look left. Look at how the market likes to consolidate. Consolidates like a maniac. I don't like such consolidations. It doesn't, it doesn't look pretty, pretty, but it is what it is. People like to trade it. So anyways, gone to the upside. GBP, JPY, gone to the upside. USD, JPY. Jappy, Jappy. Gone. Don't really like trading these pairs. JPY pairs are a bit too chappy, chappy for me. So I think that's about it. And that's the only thing I trade. Let's look at some Apple stock. See what's happening. Ooh. A nasty turnaround for Apple shares. Apple, hmm. Apple needs to clear this region. If Apple doesn't clear this region, two hundred dollars per share. If you come back and start trading below down here, technically speaking, Apple might drop into one twenty nine. We'll see. We'll see. What do I know? I'm just a technical analyst, right? But you see, my analysis always works out. Apple, for your own good, better stay above one hundred and eighty dollars per share because if you come back down here law of price action will deal with you and bring you back down here because what this means is that you technically you haven't created a higher high anyways guys once again that's my time please ensure to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and ensure to get the forex mastery program as you can see we have analyzed all asset classes here if you want me to analyze natural gas i can do that if you want me to analyze coffee i can do that once you have the forex mastery program you can trade anything you are no longer limited to just forex you can trade anything and make money doing any and everything once again if you want to grab the forex mastery program the link is going to be down in the description as always i'll catch you guys in my other screen let's go thank you guys for staying till the very end of this very lengthy episode this is the episode where i've I, you know i just wanted to come and celebrate 100 with you guys i love you guys very much um and also watch out for my social media for all the giveaways there's so much prizes to be given away obviously to you amazing dapo willis followers once again guys if you haven't already grabbed the forex mastery program the link is going to be in the description as always i'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos i love you guys very much take it easy and peace out